नमस्ते माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ गुरुकुल नीलोखेड़ी एंड गुरुकुल ज्योति सर हो दैट यू आर फिट एंड फाइन एट योर होम अलोंग विथ योर फैमिली मेंबर्स एंड होप दैट यू आर फॉलोइंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन गिवन बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया लाइक प्रॉपर सैनिटेशन सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग एंड वियरिंग मास्क सो टूडे आई विल डिस्कस योर सेकेंड लेक्चर और योर सेकेंड दिस इज सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ क्लास सिक्स क्लास सिक्स दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर फिफ्टीन वोटर एंड इट्स importance water and its importance in previous video i have discussed the introduction part like what is water what are the sources of water and what are the importance of water today in this video this is second video of uh, chapter 15 uh, in this video i will discuss here how cloud form means our today's topics are cloud formation firstly i will discuss how the clouds are formed and what is the mechanism of
that is tiny droplet tiny droplet when these tiny droplets combine or you can see join together combine together or you can say join together they form a cloud they form a cloud basically when water is converted into water vapor when water is converted into water vapor it rises up and condenses with the condenses in a droplet any droplet that is very tiny droplet of water you can say these tiny droplets combine or you can say join together they form cloud now what is the mechanism mechanism of rain hail and snow it is also related with this process now so we should be done what is the mechanism of rain hail and snow mechanism of rain hail and snow as we know when tiny droplets join together tiny droplets join together they form they form a heavy drop this droplet come down as a rain on the earth on the earth but in case if temperature temperature is very low if temperature is very low this heavy droplet this heavy droplet condenses and form a snow or hail this is the process behind the or you can say this is the mechanism of rain hail or snow when tiny droplets combine together they form a heavy droplet that droplet comes down as a rain on the earth and when the when the if the temperature is very low in the atmosphere the heavy droplet condenses and form a solid solid state you can say and form a snow or hail snow or hail this is called cloud formation and mechanism of rain hail or you can say snow now what is water cycle what is water cycle as i discussed earlier water what are the sources of water rain water surface water ground water and how the how the two processes involve in the in the you can say in the water cycle this is next topic that is water cycle but this is cloud formation mechanism of rain and hail after after this topic i have to write what uh, how water cycle form what is the process behind the water cycle so here water 
साइकिल इट इज दिट इज कंटिन्यूस साइकिल विच मेंटेन विच मेंटेन दॉटर लेवल दॉटर लेवल बिटवीन अर्थ एंड एटमोस्फियर एटमोस्फियर वॉट साइकिल इट इज अंटिन्यूस साइकिल इट इज अंटिन्यूस साइकिल विच मेंटेन दी वॉटर लेवल विच मेंटेन दी वॉटर लेवल बिटवीन अर्थ एंड एटमोस्फियर इट इज नॉन एज वॉटर साइकिल बट how it how it takes place there are some process behind this water cycle these there are following following process following processes i am drawing the diagram here first is condensation first process is condensation second is precipitation next one is percolation next one is transpiration transpiration this is a cycle that complete these are the processes that complete the whole cycle there is also a process that is percolation that is evaporation this is a block diagram or you can say general or you can say overview overview about the water cycle these are the one two three four five five processes involved that form water cycle that completes water cycle so one by one i will uh, discuss on condensation precipitation percolation transpiration and evaporation small 